Hi, welcome to my blog. My name is Tom Shu, and today we're going to do a Lightroom tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you a little bit about using the adjustment brush tool and how to make images pop. So, first of all, let's free up some of this real estate here. We're going to push F5 to free up the top, and F6 will get rid of our film strip. And if we hit the tab key, that will open up both sides, so we have a lot of room to work with. Okay, so you can do overall adjustments by you know using the sliders here but if you want to get more localized or more creative and have control over the image you might want to use the adjustment brush but before we jump into the adjustment brush what we'll do is we'll crop the image to get it to look a little better so if you hold down the control key it will give you a ruler tool and I'm gonna drag this this ruler tool along this horizon line here and that will straighten our car we're gonna hit enter and that will bring the car level to where we want it to be uh, I wasn't shooting on a tripod and I was walking around the mud and stuff so I didn't really get a good shot so now we've got the image straightened we're gonna set our white point and a black point so we're gonna hold down here and we're gonna hold down the alt key and we're gonna slide this over and you can see those clouds are already blowing out so in the red channel we've lost detail so we don't really want white white completely blown out white we want some detail in there the red channel always goes first okay so we'll just leave it right there in a black point we'll see underneath the tires and some of the shadow areas in this fender and over here it should turn black so hold on the alt key and you can see that yes that's where it's turning black okay so now we've set our black point and our white point and we can control our highlights and shadows these are our detail sliders as we've talked about before and uh, a couple other things w that I like to do is I like to start off with like minus one on exposure after I've exposed to the right and I will drop my contrast down to minus 35 okay now you can see the image is starting to grow uh, some depth to it in contrast so again we'll go back to our white points and we'll look at them and we'll bring it up just a little bit so that cloud is just barely blown out in that red channel okay and then we'll look at our blacks again make sure they're not too deep you know, we might have to open those up just a hair okay so now we've got some control over our white points and our exposure let's go in and clean up this background and, and give it some some color and some contrast so go to the adjustment brush and we'll start with the clarity slider so sometimes you won't realize where you're working at when you're using this and uh, one way people do it is like they'll either drag the exposure down so you can see where the dark areas are or hit control Z and we'll hit control Z again and get rid of that or they'll overexpose and then they can see where they're working okay hit control Z control Z and we'll get rid of that there's a better way if you hit the O key for the overlay it will show you where you're working okay so let's go down here and check our flow and make sure everything is at a hundred percent and we'll just go ahead and paint this in real quick you know we're not gonna try to paint the whole car but we'll paint the uh, the area in which we want to work with okay so now if we use the alt key we'll come in here and we can erase off the car any of where that brush touched it. Now this is just a tutorial so I'm gonna be a little sloppy on my selection but you'll kinda get the idea if you were to spend some time and come in here and do a better job of of brushing this uh, adjustment brush tool. Okay so that gives us a decent selection. I'll slide this back down and I'll grab this area here maybe I'll grab a little under the car here and I'll go across this little area up there a little bit okay so let's call that done we're gonna hit O and that will get rid of the selection and let's look what happens if we bring up the clarity a little bit okay so that starts to bring in into the scene a lot more contrast and depth so let's look at what happens when we bring the exposure down you notice that when we bring the exposure down 
that increases the saturation in the clouds. We haven't touched saturation, so watch what happens to the saturation again. You see that the orange gets a look deeper looking. Double click will reset it, so we'll bring the exposure down just a little bit here. And in the highlight area, this will control what's happening in the clouds. Okay, so we'll just bring this down a little bit more. And you can see start to see where the car, where our mask wasn't really good. So we can come in there and, and hit that again across the top and across this edge of the car. Okay, maybe a little bit more across there. Again, this is for a tutorial, but I hope you'll get the idea. So if we want to bump the saturation just a little bit, maybe six or seven. So now we have a nice contrasty background. We haven't adjusted the car yet. And we haven't adjusted the overall exposure or detail either. So I want to come in here and I want to warm up and cool off some things. So let's try a new brush. We're going to click new. And I want to go to the temperature. And I'm going to make it 50. This will be a warming brush. And I'm going to warm up this dirt in the front here. It looks a little gold right now, but we'll fix that. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and paint all this. Give it a little bit more rich color. And we'll do the same thing as before. We hit the O key. And that shows us our overlay. And we'll take it off these mountains here. So we'll hold down the Alt key. And we'll just erase off the mountains. We'll erase off the car. And this is, you know, working in Photoshop is one thing. Working in Lightroom is a little bit faster, uh, I think. Um, if there is a, a need for both, but Lightroom will let you work pretty fast. Okay, so we'll hit the O key again, and we'll delete that. Okay, so now we've got this warm ground. We'll maybe bring up the contrast a little bit more on the ground, and we'll bump the clarity just a little bit more. You can see there's a little bit on the car here, so let's go ahead and get that off the car. Okay, so now that I've brightened up or warmed up the earth a little bit, I want to cool off the sky a little bit. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll reset, we'll click new, and when the temperature will go to minus 50. Let's just type it in, minus 50. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and paint in the sky. Ooh. Control Z. Let's reset that. So we want this to be minus 50. Minus 50. Okay, now we'll cool off this sky. And this is going to give us more color in the image. And we'll erase where we don't want it. Just the overall of the sky and the mountains. Okay, we'll hit the O key for overlay and we'll erase again. So we're going to hold down the Alt key and we'll take it off these mountains, maybe. Definitely take it off of the, the, the soil. We'll take it off the car. Okay, and you may or may not want to, to brighten up the mountains. Okay. So we'll get it finished getting it off the car here. O for overlay and we don't have to keep it that cool we can warm it up some and we can bring up the clarity make those clouds pop a little bit more we can see that it's still coming through here on the car so we're going to have to paint a little bit more right around the edge of the car okay so I kind of like that so let's go ahead and do some reverse clarity on those clouds okay because when we put in the clarity on this slider you know the clouds got a little too sharp for me so what we'll do is we'll double click here to reset that nope control Z we need to keep that we're gonna click new we'll double click temperature at zero and we'll bring clarity down to minus 20 or so minus 30 maybe maybe minus 20 okay so now what we're gonna do is when we paint on these clouds we'll get rid of that clarity that was applied from the last shot so they look puffy again like cotton we might want to hit those clouds over here too okay so now our shots starting to warm up to the way I like it so we'll be done with the brush adjustments and let's go back to our overall adjustments and 
now we'll come in and bring our clarity up a little bit and that will start to make the car pop and it will finish the image on the ground and we'll come down here and I want to grab this HSL slider and the luminance values now this will let me control the the sky value so I'm gonna click here and if I want the blue to be brighter I'll raise it up or I can drop it down darken it up in these pinks over here I can darken them up too so now we'll go to the saturation and we'll do the same thing and I'm left clicking and dragging up and dragging down this will increase the saturation in the gold and increase the saturation in the pink and increase the saturation in the darker blues okay there's one last thing I'd like to do I want to go back into the, this graduation and I'm gonna pull the clarity down and I'm gonna do exposure by one stop I'm gonna do a one stop burn minus one an exposure and we'll drag this down to here alright and maybe we can take our clarity and slide it just a little bit straighten it up and we'll call this image done so you want to see the before and after okay this is after the adjustments this is before and this is after alright so I uh, hope you found this tutorial helpful and uh, the use of the adjustment brush tools and the sliders inside of Lightroom until next time we'll see you soon thanks for watching